in the worst case scenario he might not make it and that's we've seen that across the last few weeks we don't know what's going to happen and i think that's the scariest part kids you've got? Uh, four. Four kids? Yeah, but Grandchildren? Oh, uh, eight or nine. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. I came into the hospital. Oh, can, can we just put that yeah. in? Because on Easter, you need your oxygen. Easter Monday. Because the kids are having trouble. Home, please, please. The wife is at home and she's um, a house of hope for her. That's two or three hours a day. Okay. I don't think I feel upset, Marie. Huh? I don't think I feel upset. I don't think you feel upset? Take me a few seconds. Let me let out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Great to see you. You too. It's lovely to see your face. Hi, Marie. Hi, yes. That's brilliant. Unfortunately, Joe's respiratory status has deteriorated. His uh, oxygen requirements have really increased throughout the morning. We've put him on to dialysis to see if we can take some extra fluid away from the lungs through um, filtering his blood. But we've kind of given him a, a few hours. We've given him a chance to see if he can recover a little bit. But unfortunately, we've made a decision that he's actually going to have to go on to the ventilator. And um, we're going to have to take over his breathing for a few days. I suppose it's it's very emotional, very difficult for everyone because obviously throughout the news media and everything you can see that some people haven't survived COVID. When they go on the ventilator, that's really the only treatment that we have for it. And um, so I suppose that's why it's really scary. Um, okay, tube to the top of the booty, please. Tube. Okay, just gonna turn you over onto your side, Joe, okay? There we go. All right, Joe. There we go. Joe is actually very aware and it is terrifying and it's very difficult for us to have to explain that to him as well and difficult to speak to his wife and kind of explain the fact that hopefully it's going to be a few days but the key word there is hopefully because you don't actually know if it's going to be a few days it could be weeks or in the worst case scenario he might not make it and that's we've seen that across the last few weeks and it's not just Joe that it's affected, it's his whole family. It's all the patients in here who have COVID. We don't know what's going to happen, and I think that's the scariest part. Yeah.